This video is so long overdue, it is insane. I moved what, like October, November last year? November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Bitch, that was eight months ago. Honestly, my level of procrastination is unmatched, especially when I'm not feeling well, because I will just push everything to the back burner. We'll come back to it when we're feeling more motivated. Turns out, depression. What has finally pushed us to get things going again is last week I woke up and apparently I've just lost the ability to plan an outfit that I'm happy with. I figured, you know what, we'll fix this. A room makeover. I'm a genius. So let me take you back to October last year, packing up the old rental. We were actually there for only about seven months, so a bunch of our stuff was thankfully still in boxes. This is pretty much what you see in my videos, cute fun party. Why wouldn't she want to film a room tour? Well, you pan slightly and that is literally the front door to the house. So typically it'd be set out where you'd have the couch along this wall and then have the TV along here because like the cables for the aerial and stuff are there. And then you would come around here and this would be like the dining table which led into the kitchen. But unfortunately this was literally the only space available for me to film. So we just had to make it work. <laughs> So a couple of days later we moved into the new place and this was my designated filming room. I just dumped all of my shit in there in the meantime while we were sorting everything else out. But it then all had to be cleared out again because this carpet had to go. For starters, I'm just not a fan of filming on fluffy carpet. Your feet kind of sink into it, which makes you look shorter as well. Plus the fact that it's so dark, I feel like it's in very complimentary to the sort of room decor I prefer or my outfits. Once that was all cleared out, it was time to lay the new flooring. I was just doing it myself and I got this laminate from Bunnings that is kind of supposed to look like floorboards, but a lot cheaper and easier. Generally speaking, I'm not a very handy person, so I was very proud of myself for accomplishing this. It turned out great in the end. I really like that I went for this lighter color just to keep the room feeling big and spacious. Hello, it is time for potentially my favorite part where we just sit and look for inspo on Pinterest. I have been adding things to my fun room inspo for a couple of weeks now. And obviously I do have a bunch of stuff to work with already. I'm not like scrapping everything that I've ever used before, but there are a few additions I think I want to make. For example, I think I really want to get a locker. I didn't have one at school, so I don't have any bad association with it and i think that they look really cool i like that you can add your own personality to it a little bit and also just for like height variations because i want the set to be dimensional you know not just everything at one base level so i think it could be a good option oh and the other thing that i have been hunting for for a very long time is some sort of funky chair i had the sofa um not in the last place but the place before that but i don't really like the color and i just want something a little bit more fun so i've been hunting on facebook marketplace for the longest time waiting for something to pop up and finally ta -da! I found this on Facebook Marketplace last night, only a couple of suburbs over, so we went and picked it up this morning. It's not my number one perfect choice. I would have preferred purple or blue and also slightly bigger than like the small kid size. But you know what? It's been rough out here. Very, very difficult to get my hands on one. Very difficult to get my hands on one. That was a lie. <gasps> Other than that, I'm not really too sure what else I want to look into getting. Some sort of shelving, I think, because I'd love to have some of my anime figurines on display as well. Oh, and also I want to update my rug. It was just a cheap one from Kmart and I don't know, it's not like a fun enough. So I was thinking of looking on like Society 86. What is that site? I swear it used to be so popular with all the YouTubers in the room decor days. Um, but I think they should have something. 
Okay, so this is the opposite side of the room from what you would typically see me filming in front of. So it's just for organization, storage, things to make sure that filming will run smoothly. It doesn't necessarily have to be pretty. I did used to just have two standard IKEA racks, but they weren't really big enough to fit my outfits anymore. So I wanted something much bigger. Plus it's more like space efficient, I guess, because it has the shelf on top for me to store my shoes as well. Um, it was a little bit more expensive than I wanted to spend. I found it on Facebook Marketplace, but he did end up halving the price after just one day of it being listed and he delivered it for free. So it wasn't too bad. And I mean, I feel like it makes my life easier having the right piece. So I can live with it. And then over here, we have literally the perfect fit for the length of this wall. Uh, I think they're supposed to be like toy storage for kids, but I use it for accessories. They're from Ikea and it's two stacked on top of each other. I've got arm warmers and leg warmers, scarves, hats, harnesses, belts. And then on top, I have smaller accessories like sunglasses, headbands, chunky necklaces, as well as some utility type things like safety pins, blue tack, fashion tape, that sort of thing. Honestly, the situation has not been working out for me though. It's just too cluttered and I really want some free bench space to be able to plan out the little accessories for each of the outfits as well. So I have found a solution after going to Ikea again recently and realized that they have come out with a smaller version of these tubs, which is going to be perfect. So let's switch her over. So this is how it turned out in the end. Nothing groundbreaking, but definitely very practical for what I need. I'm sure this will be looking a hell of a lot more messy after I've actually filmed an outfits video, but for now she's nice and cute. Okay, remember earlier in the video when we purchased a locker? This was me attempting to put it together sometime last year. It then continued to sit in the garage for about six months, waiting for me to get my shit together. Okay, I have apparently decided to go all in on the purple theme, although I haven't actually spray tested this. I hope it does look purple. Okay, so the test run did not go according to plan. It was supposed to be this really nice, subtle lilac color, but I guess it was a little bit too subtle because it just, nothing was coming out when I was spraying unless I got a little bit too full on with it, which obviously is gonna run, it's not gonna be pretty. So the other option I have is this like pinky shade. So I think we're just gonna, have to do that instead. <laughs> Obviously, before I can get started with the decorating, I have to clear out what's already there. Some things will be reappearing very shortly because like I said, I'm not completely starting from scratch. For the last eight months, I've just been cycling through slight variations of the same sort of set, but nothing's really wowed me enough to want to stick with it. So I'm hoping today will be the day. Okay, don't worry, I am not finished by any means. I am, however, pretty happy with this base. I'm waiting for Sam to come home so he can help me put up the pegboard and the curtain rod. And then I wanna sit on that, see how it's feeling, see what gaps still need to be filled. I think I'm gonna need something underneath the windowsill here, but I don't know what that's gonna be. <laughs> I actually have no clue what the hell I'm gonna put on this shelf. I only have one certain. It's my latest addition to my anime figurines. It is 
Cowgirl Nami, I mean, come on. You look absolutely amazing in that outfit. It was also time to finally open some of the Nendoroids I had been hoarding. I decided on Oikawa and Atsumu, two of my favorites. I wish I had a bigger collection. I mean, I'm thankful that I even have these because they were re-released. If you have to buy anything on the resale market, it is just insane. So I will definitely be pre-ordering when the Skate Duo goes on sale. I'm still waiting for those Nana figures that were teased like a year ago to be spoken of again. But what sort of dream merch do you guys have on your wish list at the moment for me? I'm still kicking myself that I didn't get this Chuya figure. I'm hoping one day I'll find it for a reasonable price. Although there's also the possibility of me just blacking out and ordering it anyway, because when I tell you I have no recollection of purchasing these little plushies, like none whatsoever. It doesn't even seem like the sort of thing I would purchase, but they just rocked up on my doorstep the other day, so let's make use of them. Of course, I needed some K-pop rap in there as well, twice fancy, because it remains iconic, plus I like that it's such a big album, so it fills this space nicely. This Pentagon cover with the webtoon vibes, absolutely genius. We've got blue hair Arate. Also the plushie is supposed to be Hun from N Flying. Oh my god, I should have put my N Flying light stick on here as well. But no, not to worry because everything turned out super cute in the end anyway. Look, I know that we were practically finished last night, but I was getting to that point where I didn't know whether I loved it or hated it. So it's best just for me to step away, regroup, and here we are the next morning. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. It is freezing cold today. So this is my collection of potential goodies to decorate the locker with. I know it seems kind of silly because you can't really see the details of it in the full length wide shot, but I like to think of it as little Easter eggs of things that I love. I mean, even if you can't really see it on camera, this is my home and I want it to feel comforting and fill it with things that bring me happiness. So I think we've got some good options here. Okay, I don't know if it's too tacky, but I've always wanted to do the fridge magnets. So you're just gonna have to let me live. I put the rail back in place so I could hang some clothes if I wanted and then just started playing around with all the little bits and bobs to see what would work. The one thing I really wanted to include was this Hong Jung postcard. This album in particular, all the members look so fantastic, but I mean, guess who my bias is? Of course, I got Jaha from Yuna of the Dawn because he is the pick of the bunch. Fight me. I had to get Hyuna in there somewhere, of course. I'm actually surprised that there's not some part of this room that is just a dedicated shrine to her. Actually, perhaps that can be arranged in a future video decorating my non-filming room. You guys, I think we've finally done it, the finished product, and I'm honestly so happy with it. You might be thinking there's still a lot of free white space happening, but that was intentional. I feel like some of my previous sets have been a little bit too busy and almost distract from the outfits I'm trying to feature. So I think this was a really good compromise of still having some playful elements and showing my personality, but the outfits will still be able to shine on their own as well. Plus this side looks so tidy and organized, making my life so much easier. So you know what? I think I was right. All it took was a little room makeover to reignite the spark, feel inspired and motivated again. So. I think we should be good to go. If you guys have any requests on videos you wanna see, let me know, but I can already feel some ideas coming to me. So hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>